everyone, my name is Denise. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm on my way to Fort Sight for the gem show and I'm in a little town called Cabazon, I think, and I'm kind of halfway there. So, you know, come and check it out. I'm going to be showing you all the gems, all the stuff happening in Fort Sight and all the cool things. Let's do this. If you're driving from Los Angeles and you're headed on the 10 East, a couple of hours into the trip, you're going to see these beautiful windmills, which I always love. I drive to Joshua Tree quite often and these windmills are always there and they're just a sight to see. I also love these mountains. Um, it's not a super scenic route, but I love the great American open roads. I always love going on long drives and just being in a state of meditation, a state of gratitude, just appreciating this wonderful, great country that I get to live in, the freedom that I get to experience, the beauty of it. I mean, I hope every single American gets to really get on a, get in your car and go see how beautiful this country is. You don't need to go to Europe. <laughs> there are a lot of super beautiful places right here in the U.S. So God bless America. God bless the world. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome back. So I'm on the banks of the Colorado River, which separates the state of Arizona from the state of California. Look how clear this water is. It is clear. You can see the, I, I would say ocean floor, but you can see the river floor. It's so clean, pristine, so beautiful. And there are residents who live here. They're all uh, in their RVs and don't let the Confederate flags deter you. I live in New Orleans. It's just Southern pride. Doesn't mean anything. They're all very friendly, waving at me, saying hello. Um, but uh, this is the river. This is how nice it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. The air smells really fresh and I'm gonna go and get some quartz or some crystals. Yay! I'm finally here! We made it! We made it to the Quartzsite Gem Show. So, uh, you can see behind me, I don't know what this is, but it looks like Lapis Solidite. I think Lapis is found in Solidite. I'm just getting to know this stuff, so don't quiz me or anything. But look at this beautiful stuff! It's just fabulous! We're going to be here all day, exploring, having a good time, talking to the people, finding out where these things are from. It's just a wonderful time. And look at all this wooden, spectacular stuff behind me. Come, come check it out. Ooh, green. I love green. What is this? This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. And look at this pink beauty. Get a little zoom in on this. Wow. Oh, oh. And look at this spectacular beauty. You just can't get enough of this stuff. Come, come. Take a look at these gorgeous heart-shaped amethyst crystals. Wow, so beautiful. Amethyst is a member of the quartz family. It is classified as a semi-precious stone, but it can also come in crystal formations. The word amethyst is derived from the Greek word amethystos, which means sober, and it alludes to the idea of maintaining a sober, solid mindset. Natural amethyst has been used for personal adornment for at least 2,000 years. People claim all kinds of things, people who are into crystals. They claim it reduces anxiety, prevents hangovers. I mean, I'm very practical. If you don't want a hangover, just don't drink. Um, it enhances spiritual awareness, opens up your third eye, and helps you break free from addictions to food, sex, and drugs. A lot of claims about amethyst. I mean, those are some of the very minor ones, but the way I look at it, you know, what's it going to hurt? If putting this thing around your neck, if you're fighting addiction and putting this thing around your neck is going to help you fight it, why not? The power of the mind is extremely, you know, it hasn't been studied enough. So if you believe you put this stone around your neck, it'll do this and that and the other, I believe it will just because you believe it because the placebo effect is very powerful. And even if it's not the placebo effect and it's the real thing, 
even better. Okay. Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Discovered one of the stones that I discovered while I was at the gem show was Celeste. I'd never seen this before. It is so beautiful. It's like this blue color. It looks like the sky, and I was really attracted to it. It's called Celestite or Celestine. It's a mineral that forms blue crystals. Celestite is often associated with divine power. And it is thought to increase understanding, higher consciousness, as well as mindfulness when it's used in meditation and prayer. Celestite is found worldwide in small quantities. The pale blue specimens that the name is derived from are found in Madagascar in Italy, uh, Sicily, and it also can occur colorless, white, pale blue, pink, pale green, pale brown, and black. Orange specimens have been found in Ontario, Canada. Take a look at this beautiful stone. This stone I am in love with. It's called Lapis Lazuli. I remember seeing it on somebody's neck and it just looks so royal and gorgeous, captivating. This stone is from Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the world's leading source of lapis lazuli. Some parts of the country have been actively mined for thousands of years. Lapis lazuli appears in many Egyptian archaeological sites that date back to about 3000 BC. It was used in ornamental objects and jewelry. This is wholesale. So this whole cart is 350. Hmm. But what kind of stone is this? I don't know. It would help if I knew what it was. That's why you need to come here because these prices are crazy amazing. I don't know what this one is either, but it was rocks that looked like they were painted blue. So whatever that is, it really caught my eye and attention. And look at the time the people take to like line this up for us. Go see this show. If you're in LA, it's a four hour drive. I guess you could fly, but get out there and support these people that are out there digging these rocks for us i think it's just it's just an experience i had such a wonderful time i think everyone should get out there and support this um this particular company i thought had the best stuff so i wanted to highlight them they have some of the most i guess amazing looking pieces some of these pieces are outrageous like in terms of the way they look they're very captivating um the craftsmanship in some of them is is really really something i mean you know nature's the the crafter but like the way they put them together is really really special so i wanted to highlight some of those for you um and i guess you know, I really enjoyed the show. I really want to encourage people to get out there to Quartzsite. This piece, look at this. I thought this one was spectacular. I really love this one. But I really encourage you all to get out there and see this show. Support these people. Support local businesses. Support um, 
support small businesses, support people that are out there with a passion. I don't particularly know everything about crystals, but I do think they're shiny and pretty and from the planet and it looks good. Of course, there are some bad mining practices. Do your research, figure out how these people are interacting with nature and if they care about the things that you care about. But other than that, please get out and see the show. Oh, this piece was like $18,000. It was so captivating. I was like, I want this. <laughs> It's dusty, though. I think they should clean it up, but that's easy to do. But I thought this piece was so spectacular. More sapphire, more sapphire. Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Sorry. <laughs> more amethyst. <laughs> ah, it just keeps going. Enjoy all this beautiful amethyst. Everywhere I travel, I collect raw honey from the place. So I got some delicious raw honey from this company. I forgot the name of it, but it's amazing. <laughs> and I got another batch of raw honey from another company. That's the show. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Bye-bye.